Hello and welcome to today's English lesson. My name is Stuart. In today's lesson, we're looking at words that we use in English when we talk about the police. Let's go to the intro. Now, as I said, today's lesson is looking at this topic here, which is the police. And all of these words on the board are related to this topic. So if you're living in an English speaking country and you have a problem and you need to talk to the police, these words will come in handy. And if you're studying for an exam, a first or an advanced or a, a proficiency exam, and the topic of crime pops up, this could also be a valuable topic for you. But in general, it's going to improve your vocabulary, your range and your fluency in English. Now, the first words we're going to look at are these ones here, department, force, station and officer. And we put the word police before these words. So police department, police force, police station and police officer. Now these two words here are similar. The police department is the organization in general, okay? In the USA, the police department, the Los Angeles police department, or in other countries, it could be the police force, the Western Australian police force, okay? And the next one is police station. That is where the police work, okay? If you have a problem, you go to the police station and the people that you deal with are police officers. Men or women, police men, police women, the generic name, police officer, okay? Police officer. Now, the next words here, uniform, plain clothes, undercover, secret, riot, and traffic. Now, these words, we put police at the end, okay? So we say uniform, police, plain clothes, police, undercover, police, secret, police, riot, police, traffic, police, okay? So uniform police, obviously police that are wearing a uniform. Sometimes it is blue, sometimes it's another color, but in general, the police normally, when you see them in the street, they have a uniform on. Sometimes police are plain clothes police, meaning that they just wear normal clothes and they go about their business without you knowing that they are police officers, plain clothes. They could also be undercover, okay, undercover. They could be working in an undercover situation, undercover police, meaning that they're doing a job that they don't want people to know that they are police. They could be secret police, okay, Secret police, sometimes we associate with dictators, okay? Back in East Germany, the Stasi, for example, secret police. Riot police are the police that are in charge of potentially dangerous situations or riot situations. If there's a demonstration with a lot of people together, you'll see these police with masks, with batons, with shields. They are the riot police or the traffic police, the ones that patrol the streets, okay, or the highways, the traffic police. Now, some different branches inside the police force. You can have a special branch, you can have a fraud squad, and you can have a SWAT team, okay, SWAT team. Now, SWAT is an acronym which stands for Special Weapons and Tactics, okay, and they're normally very elite police officers. It's like a military type of police organization with very highly trained police officers for, for very specific situations. The SWAT team. The fraud squad dealing with fraud and the special branch, I think in the UK they call it the special branch, which are special detectives that are trying to solve uh, important crime uh, cases, okay, the special branch. You could also have a homicide squad dealing with murder, so you get the idea. So inside the police force, different divisions, okay. Now these are the different ranks inside the police force, at least in Australia, and I think the UK as well. In America, in the USA, I think it's a little bit different, but in Australia we have constables, sergeants, inspectors, superintendents, and commissioners. So commissioner being the highest rank, 
and constable being the lowest rank inside the police organization. So people start off as constables, they get promoted to sergeant, promoted again to inspector, to superintendent if they're lucky, and of course the top position is the uh, commissioner, okay? The highest ranking police officer in the police force. Now these words here are all verbs that we use when we talk about what the police do, okay, on a daily basis. Normally uniformed police or detectives as well, they can charge you, they can book you, they can apprehend you, they can arrest you, they can handcuff you, they can frisk, they can fingerprint and they can breathalyze. Now all of these verbs are regular verbs that finish in ed. So we say charged. He was charged with murder. The police booked him yesterday. He was apprehended on Monday, meaning that the police uh, went to his house and apprehended him. He was arrested on Tuesday. Again, the police went to his house and arrested him. They put handcuffs on his wrists and took him to the police station. Maybe they frisked him. They frisked him to see if he had any dangerous weapons. They frisked him. When he got to the station, uh, he was fingerprinted. They took the fingerprints with ink and they made a record of his fingerprints. And if you are driving, especially in Australia, in your driving, more likely you will be breathalyzed one day, okay? You get stopped and the police check to see if you have been drinking alcohol and driving. You have a breathalyzer, okay? You blow into a little uh, plastic thing and it tells you if you have been drinking alcohol or not. Now these words here are all slang words that we use to describe the police. Cops, copper, okay? Cops or copper, okay? A an informal word for the police. The law, okay? The law uh, is another word that we can use. In the UK they use this word here, the old bill or the bill to mean the police. In, uh, sometimes we can say the word the fuzz, not so common anymore, a little bit outdated, but this word here used to be common, the fuzz. This word here, pig, is quite a negative word, at least in Australia. If people call the police uh, pigs, it's a very derogative term, quite negative. Narc is used in the USA, a narc, he's a narc probably a drug enforcement officer. And Fed, again, in the USA, he's a Fed. He's a federal police officer as opposed to a state. So state and federal officers in the States and in Australia as well. And these words here we also use in general when we talk about the police. The boys in blue, it's a general name for the police, okay? The boys in blue, the uniform blue normally, the boys in blue, the police, or the long arm of the law. The long arm of the law finally caught up with him, meaning the police. So two expressions that we use, but the meaning is this word here, police, okay? So all of these words we can use in English when we talk about the police. Now, thank you very much for watching the lesson. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Remember to share it on social media, please. Share it with your friends if they're learning English on your social media channels. I'll see you in the next video English lesson. Have a good day, bye.